guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about our childhood. And if you guys are Asian, Asian American, Asian Australian, I think you'll be able to relate to these feels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have a list of things that if you can relate to this, you probably are Asian. All right. Number one. So um, growing up uh, as an Asian American or as an Asian Australian, I'm sure you've had Saturday school or Sunday school. So oh my equivalent God. Of that. Yes. The bane of my existence. So this is where you go there and learn, you know, Mandarin <laughs> because your parents forced you to do it. Right. And did you take it seriously, though? For me, it was like because it was on a Saturday and it was a normal school, I felt like I could do anything I wanted. And you had these like lame little backpacks and textbooks. Um, but actually now looking back, I should have put more effort into it because I'm like, yeah. dang it. Now right. I don't know Mandarin or now I don't know Cantonese and I could have. That, that's true. Like I, I speak Mandarin at a five-year-old level and it's because I didn't pay attention to it. Let's do a really simple Mandarin conversation. Do we have to? Niao Zhang Sima. <laughs> oh my god, you know what's mm. the worst? When you start a sentence and it's like you ask it in Mandarin yeah. or Cantonese and they, so they expect you to know right, right. and then they start talking da, da, and you're da, da, like, da, da, da. Um, it's too late to back out now. <laughs> Okay, next, if you had Asian parents, I'm sure you will relate to this. It's when your parents always compare you to their friends' children. There's always someone who did better than you. Whether it's real or not, it's there to just, I guess, push us to be better. And to reach maximum potential, I get it. And I always used to be like, why can't you compare me to these people? I'm right? so much better than them. Yeah, look at, look at that guy. He doesn't even have a job. <laughs> yeah. huh? He's in prison, you know? <laughs> Oh, this is so you! <laughs> Run free, tiger. <laughs> oh my god, where did you pull that from? From pants. It came out of my pants. Oh my god. This is something that also was passed down to my parents. It's it's using Tiger Bomb for literally everything. Yeah. I mean, Tiger Bomb can be used in uh, for nausea, sore soreness, mm -hmm. and insect bites. Mm -hmm for to stuffy clear the noses, sinuses. it yeah. can heal like gunshot wounds. <laughs> it, it's great for, I'm just kidding, it's great for everything though. <laughs> yeah, every time I smell this, it takes me back to this time that my grandma would make me rub her wrinkly back with Tiger Balm, because uh, she'd be like, it hurts. <laughs> And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> if you guys haven't smelt it or, you know, come across this, it's kind of minty, tingly. Uh, and when you put it on, it's kind of like heated. Yeah, it's, it's, nice. got it's like Bengay. So the next thing is like uh, when Halloween came around, like <laughs> it just never seemed to work out the right way in my no, house. No. It's either you, you had the lights off so mm. that no one came and TP'd your house, <laughs> or you left like a bowl of candy outside of weird, like random junk that's collected in yes. the kitchen cupboard. When I got a ring on the doorbell Halloween, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> mom is gonna open it. And clearly we don't have candy. So she goes into the pantry and just brings out like all these stale biscuits or like, you know, it's not even in the same realm of candy. Yeah. She might as well have brought out dumplings and given them dumplings. And then you're wondering why your house is getting TP'd. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I mean, And it's then it makes sense to just have your lights off. But yeah, Halloween is big in some neighborhoods. Like, people, like, you know, decorate their houses. And it's Get like this whole up. excitement. Yeah. And then I'm not a part of it. All right, so the next one, if you guys went to school, which I hope you guys all yeah. went to school, and lunchtime came around, and you're like, yay, time to eat. Open the container, and it's like. <laughs> right, everyone else has like sandwiches or pizza, Lunchables. So it's, like, it's like hot food usually. It's yeah, just, and then like it condensated because in the morning when your mom packed it, it was hot, but by the time it's lunch, it's like, and it's like dripping. You know, like everyone else has things you can trade. It's like, oh, I got my like cookies. You know, I have like a I'll cool jello thing. I'll give you this sandwich thing. for, you know, yeah. yeah. Do you want a handful of rice for your cookies <laughs> or something? Can I offer Some you a piece of, of beef? Like. I think our, our meals were more nutritious. And I, they're actually really delicious. The, the main point is the smell in my <laughs> locker. <laughs> um, and then I guess like along the same lines, when you go on road trips, there's uh, always tea eggs. Tea eggs, yeah. Zhongzi. <laughs> Zhongzi, <laughs> right? Which are actually quite good, you know? They're delicious. You know, my no. favorite thing in life is like tea egg. You know, it's, it's interesting because back when I was a kid, I always felt like I was missing out. But now if you think about it, like road stop, restaurants suck. It's like McDonald's, KFC. Yeah. But we were usually the only people using the picnic benches outside of the road stop. <laughs> everyone, yeah. everyone else is like chilling inside and we're like full out spread, <laughs> like out on the stern tables and everything. So cute. 
So having like immigrant parents, like obviously we're pretty poor. So everything that we had of worth was usually wrapped or protected, <laughs> including like TV remotes, couches, <laughs> oh yeah, car seats. Yeah. So the TV remote would have the plastic wrap. The couch would have some sort of <laughs> knitted blanket quilt thing. Right, right, right. And then in the car would be like those wooden pearls, which are things. horrible. You get like pinched by them. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? It's just like I know like I had Italian friends who also mm. had. They like would have the whole like the living couch, room right? wrapped up in plastic. Yeah. So I guess I, I think this one's more for like not just Asians but immigrants it's like protecting things that, that you know are what really... blows my mind though like you buy this couch and you spend so much time deciding which to have to get <laughs> only to have it fully covered that is true <laughs> but with the plastic wrap I mean it's a good thing because if you spill drinks or food while you're watching TV until it gets to summer and then your body sticks to it Ew. it's like I need a sound effect it's like <laughs> <laughs> the grading system according to your parents anything below an a plus or an a mm -hmm. was regarded as a fail an asian f an asian f glee mentions it a minus was an asian f yeah <laughs> there's like a different you know standard i think with asian parents i think in china it's just so competitive to, yes for people to get like it's all about tests the it's all about grading call. school so if you if you got an a minus you are uh, asian f actually affects me. I think I had this and it's Asian parents hoarding stuff. Oh my god, yes. Plastic bags. <laughs> um, plastic containers. Plastic containers, like boxes for appliances. I have like a room in my parents' house <laughs> full of boxes for appliances. But also like if they go traveling, they hoard the little shampoos and steal oh, yeah. the hotel shampoos <laughs> and conditioners. It's like the resourcefulness is directly tied to that a lot of our parents were immigrants. <laughs> and then like, yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy. So like, hey, if, if that means If you can find supplies, a use for it, you know, yeah. why not? I, I still do it today. I, I do have, it too. I have like a I have a, a cabinet full of plastic bags in the office. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why because I, there's nothing for me to use them for. It's like a <laughs> reflex. All right, so the next one concerns our free time. So during school, after school, mm -hmm. all my friends used to just like watch TV, blah, 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 on weekends, hang out with their you? friends. How dare you? But for Asians, growing up in an Asian household, free time is synonymous to you're either studying more and perfecting the art of mathematics mm -hmm. or violin mm -hmm. or piano. Mm -hmm. Or all of those things at the same time. Yeah, yeah, all of the above. Whenever my parents got me something for my free time, it was an investment. It wasn't just for yeah, having an intellectual fun. investment. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys all know of those herbal stores you see that sell all these dried powders. Many of them made from illegal animal parts. Husks of like, elephants uh, and like rhinos, turtles. Ti tiger faces. <laughs> yeah. Like so my grandma, every time I was sick or was developing a cold or mm. I had a fever, she would make this concoction <laughs> of brown like soupy stuff and it would smell so bad uh -huh. and make me drink it like forcefully shove uh, it down my throat and she's yeah. like this is good for you I, I remember that was one of my like earlier memories having to drink nasty stuff yeah it was, it was traumatizing it was always such a struggle to finish these <laughs> and it was like huge it's not like western medicine where it's like a pill or it's like a little yeah you, you know, down no, it and it's done yeah, it's like a soup it's a cauldron <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. How many of these could you guys relate to? I'm sure it'll have to be at least like a 90% rate. 90%, I think so, yes. Yeah. These are pretty much standard things that, like if there's a handbook about being Asian, it's gonna be in that. <laughs> should we right write there. one? Oh my God, that'd be so We funny. should just write that. And like, which one would you pass on to your children or your future children? Or did these things scar you and you want to raise your kids completely different? Yeah, it's like, I'm never going to do that to my child. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to like and yeah. subscribe. Yeah, the button will be here. No, it's going to be here. Ah! <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.